On a chilly day, you walk into a Starbucks. The comforting aroma of fresh coffee fills the air. You order your favorite coffee, maybe a latte, perhaps a cappuccino, then find a cozy corner to sit. As you take a sip of the hot beverage, you open your laptop, perhaps to work, or maybe just to watch something. It seems like such a simple and so common ritual that it's easy to forget that behind every sip of coffee, there's a story of entrepreneurship, persistence, and vision. Today, we're going to delve into the story of Howard Schultz, the man who not only transformed Starbucks into a household name, but also revolutionized how the world perceives and enjoys coffee. Howard Schultz was born in 1953 in Brooklyn, New York, into a working-class family. His father was a truck driver, and his mother was a housewife, and they lived in a housing complex for low-income families. Despite hardships, Schultz excelled in school and was particularly talented in sports. He played soccer, baseball, and mainly basketball, a sport he had a true passion for. Schultz's dedication and talent in sports opened a door for him that remained closed for many in his community, the opportunity to attend university. He won an athletic scholarship and was the first in his family to enter higher education, studying communication at Northern Michigan University. After university, Schultz began to work, taking positions in sales and marketing companies. He had a natural talent for sales and quickly stood out. But it was in 1981, during a business trip to Seattle, that Schultz visited Starbucks for the first time and his life and the coffee world would never be the same. After university, Schultz found his way into the sales and marketing world. He worked for Xerox, a company known for its rigorous sales training it provides to its employees. There, Schultz learned the fundamentals of sales, acquiring skills that would later be crucial to his success. However, it was in 1981, during a business trip to Seattle, that Schultz had his first contact with Starbucks. At the time, it was a small local company selling high-quality coffee beans and equipment to make coffee at home. Schultz was impressed by the owner's passion for coffee and the quality of the products they sold. He was also intrigued by the idea that people might want to make high-quality coffee at home instead of settling for the instant coffee that was most commonly consumed at the time. Driven by his vision of what Starbucks could become, Schultz left his job at Xerox and moved to Seattle to join the company as a marketing director. He saw potential in the company and believed he could turn it into something much bigger than it was at the time. However, he still didn't know exactly how he would do that. During his early years, Schultz dedicated himself to learning everything he could about coffee. He frequently visited coffee suppliers, learning about the different varieties of beans and roasting methods. He also spent a lot of time in Starbucks stores, observing customers and trying to understand what they wanted and what attracted them there. It was during this period that Schultz began to realize that Starbucks could be more than a coffee store. He began to dream of the idea of turning the company into a place where people could go not only to buy coffee, but also to enjoy a cup of the drink in a relaxing and welcoming atmosphere. However, he still didn't know how he could turn this vision into reality. Schultz's vision transformation began to take shape during a business trip to Italy. Schultz was enchanted by the Italian coffee culture. In the squares and streets of cities like Milan and Verona, he saw how coffee shops were a vital center of Italian social life. People would gather to chat, read newspapers, and simply enjoy life, all while savoring a perfectly prepared espresso. This vision contrasted sharply with coffee culture in the United States, where coffee was often consumed in a hurry or in the car on the way to work. 
Schultz realized that there was an opportunity to bring Italian coffee culture to the United States. He envisioned a chain of coffee shops where people could go not just to buy coffee, but also to enjoy a cup of coffee in a cozy and relaxing environment. He wanted coffee shops to become the third place, a place outside of home and work where people could gather and relax. When Schultz returned to Seattle, he was full of ideas and energy. However, he encountered resistance from the owners of Starbucks, who were reluctant to change the company's business model. They wanted to focus on selling coffee beans and equipment and were not interested in becoming a chain of coffee shops. Undeterred, Schultz decided to open his own chain of coffee shops, Illinois Journal, in 1985. I.L. Journal was a tribute to the Italian coffee culture that Schultz had experienced. The shops were designed to be welcoming and inviting, and the baristas were trained to prepare coffee with the same care and skill that Schultz had seen in Italy. I.L. Journal was a success, and Schultz proved that his vision of a chain of coffee shops was viable. However, he still dreamed of transforming Starbucks and was determined to make this vision a reality. In 1987, a unique opportunity presented itself to Schultz. The owners of Starbucks decided to sell the company. Schultz, seeing the chance to realize his dream, gathered a group of investors and bought the company. Now, with full control over the company, he was ready to start the transformation. The first thing Schultz did was to change the store's focus from selling coffee beans and equipment to becoming a chain of coffee shops. He brought the concept of third place from I.L. Journal to Starbucks, creating a cozy and relaxing environment where people could meet, relax, and enjoy a great coffee. He also focused on training baristas, ensuring they could prepare coffee with the same skill and passion he had seen in Italy. The transformation was a success. People loved the new Starbucks and stores began to appear all over Seattle, then across the country. But Schultz didn't stop there. He had a global vision. He wanted the company to become a brand known all over the world. And so, Starbucks began to expand internationally. The first store outside North America opened in Tokyo in 1996. From there, expansion continued at an impressive pace. Today, there are stores in over 70 countries around the world, from London to Beijing, from Sao Paulo to Mumbai. But for Schultz, the success of Starbucks was not just about numbers or profits. It was about creating an experience, a place where people could go to escape the stress of daily life, to meet friends, or simply to enjoy a moment of tranquility with a cup of coffee. And in this aspect, he certainly succeeded. In addition to his impact on the world of coffee, Schultz also left a remarkable legacy of corporate social responsibility. From the start, he strived to make Starbucks a company that cared not only for its customers, but also its employees. In 1988, Starbucks began offering full health benefits to all employees, including those working part-time, a rare practice at the time. In 1991, the company started offering stock options to employees, allowing them to have a stake in the company. And in 2014, Starbucks partnered with Arizona State University to offer all employees the opportunity to earn an online bachelor's degree, fully covering the tuition. Schultz also led Starbucks in a series of initiatives to give back to the community and promote sustainability. The company has a long history of working with coffee farmers to promote sustainable and fair farming practices. They also initiated programs to donate unsold food to local food banks and to hire refugees and young people seeking opportunities. Schultz left Starbucks in 2018, but his impact on the company and the world of coffee is undeniable. 
he transformed Starbucks into a global phenomenon, but perhaps more importantly, he showed that a company can succeed while also taking care of its employees and the community. So the next time you step into a Starbucks and order your favorite coffee, remember the story of Howard Schultz. Remember the vision, passion, and persistence that made the experience you are about to enjoy possible. And who knows, maybe you'll be inspired to start your own journey. The story of Howard Schultz is an inspiration to us all. It reminds us that with passion, vision, and determination, we can transform even the simplest ideas into something extraordinary. Every sip of coffee we take at Starbucks is a testament to Schultz's dream, his courage to challenge the status quo, and his desire to create a unique experience for all of us. And now we want to hear from you. Which part of Schultz's story inspired you the most? How can this story influence your own journey? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share. If you want more inspiring stories like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.